See, this is what Kadokawa can do. If you look at the hair and the design on this one, the shading they've got going in here, this one's way better than Asuna, you know, for 10,000 yen less. And they're both one seventh. Yeah, they're both one seventh. Hello, welcome to Try Animes, another weekly roundup of Ami Ami figure releases. Uh, this one's going to be a rather long one, so I'm going to be blitzing through a lot of these uh, selections since there's 65 figures we're looking at today. That's because of a uh, Kadokawa event that happened where they actually released a lot of figures. Uh, over the past week, past few days. Um, so this is from the 29th of uh, Fe uh, January to the 3rd of February. Uh, so we'll get straight into it. Just do a quick scroll through so you can kind of see um, if anything that came into stock that might be worth uh, looking at. Um, uh, there's a lot of Ultramans, which I didn't uh, cover on really because I don't think a lot of people get the Ultramans from what I'm aware of. Um anything that came into stock that's worth pointing out uh, a couple of cuckoos Erica Amano bunny by freeing 29,000 yen bit of a discount there uh, that's about it okay we'll get into the first figure uh, also like normal uh, if if you could like comment and subscribe and there will also be a uh, links to all of these that we're looking at in the description down below if there's too many uh, links for the word limit in the description then there'll be a Google Doc instead instead so um, you can use that to uh, find these uh, uh, figures that we look at uh, today so we'll get into it now uh, blue archive Mew observation of a timid persona person one seventh by elegant for 23,470 yen uh, not a bad looking figure paint job looks pretty good overall uh, 23,000 coming out in December 2024 uh, Tedatol figure a la mode, the quintessential quintuplets, specials it Itsuki uh, by Fuyu, 5,220 yen. This is the third one now, I think, out of the quintessential quintuplets. So over halfway. Um, this is released on August 2024. I think Itsuki is probably one of the better ones uh, out there uh, to get out of the f out of five girls. Uh, Nendroid, lots of Nendroids this week. An Android doll character vocal series, 03, Megarin Luca, 8,330 yen. Uh, looks like, oh, this is a doll, so you don't really get much extras. It's mainly some clothing extras, it looks like, with it being a doll, so it's some flexible pieces. So that's why it's a bit more expensive than normal Android. An uh, Android Akami's sailor uniform, Kamichi Akami, 7,300 yen. By Max Factory, coming out in June 2024. Uh, looks like she has three faceplates. Uh, not too bad. Then Nendroid Hololive Production Omaru Polka by Max Factory, 6,630 yen. Uh, for, uh, released September 2024. This one's obviously very loud, but I think this is typical of a lot of Hololive ones where their design is just you know, out there. So three faceplates with this one. Uh, Nendroid anime uh, Bochi the Rock Hitori Go Gota uh, Goto 4,870 yen so she has three face plates for this one coming out in June 2024 Nendroid Rebuild of Evangelion Mari Makanima illustration plug suit version 4,870 yen she has three face plates and does she come with that bike uh, yes, she comes with the bike and the uh, 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 anti-material rifle. Definitely worth getting, I think, for the price, considering you get those extras. That's actually not too bad. And even Gideon's obviously a, a beloved one. Another even Gideon. We've got Ray Ayanami this time. 4,070 yen again September. Uh, and I think this one's the same. Three face plates. And Scythe and the bike for her. And then we've got Asuka as well, Shikanami, Shikin uh, 4,870 yen, again September. Uh, so three face plates. Looks like she has a spear or a glaive, two sided glaive, and the bike as well. So they've all got different coloured bikes, obviously, to relate to the uh, Evangelions that they piloted. Uh, we've got uh, Evangelion Gendo Ikari as well, 6,040 yen, uh, with three face plates. Uh, looks like he's got this desk. An accessory and yeah desk and and the five that numbers i suppose i can't remember what those are it's been a long time since watching evangelion 
Uh, Nendroid TV anime, Shangri-La Frontier, Sonraku, 6,040 yen, coming out in August 2024. Um, very good anime, I actually really enjoy it. Still running as well, i uh, caught up to it now. I really do enjoy what, where, the, where the story of this. Definitely one of the better uh, isekai, uh, sort of VR, you know, Sword Art Online-esque, uh, you know, full dive animes. Nendroid TV anime, Oshinoko, I... 5,040 yen coming out in August 2024. Three faceplates with uh, this one, and uh, not much in terms of accessories. Helk Vermilio, 1 7th, complete figure by Kuda Bikia, 17,550 yen uh, coming out in Jan 2025. Very fiery, fire effects look pretty good on this one. Uh, yep, not too bad. Artifacts J, Jujutsu Kaisen, Satoru Gojo, Hidden Inventory, Premature Death Version 1 8th by Kodobukiya for 15,890 yen. Released September 2024. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Just there's an Artifacts J. Uh, Artifacts J, My Hero Academia, Mount Lady 1 8th by uh, Taka Takara Tommy, 16,630 yen, uh, August 2024. I'll just go through some of the pictures so you get an idea of what she looks like. Uh, Fire Emblem Alir, 17th by Intelligent Systems, 31,140 yen, released in February 2025. This one I just is very striking with the reds and blues. Um, I really do like this one a lot. I think if you're really big into your Fire Emblem, definitely worth getting a hold of. She's definitely going to stand out in anyone's collection with that hair. That red and blue hair is just really um, or very, very vibrant, vibrant. I think they've got it spot on with this one. Pro uh, it is expensive and it's from a manufacturer that I've not heard of. But um, if, as long as the prototypes, uh, the fin final product looks like this prototype, then I think we'll be, we'll be good. Uh, Steins Gate, Kurusu Makima, wedding dress version, 1 7th by Good Spark Art Shanghai, 21,400. 80 yen coming out in December 2024. Uh, definitely, probably one of the better wedding dress figures out there. And obviously, it's Kudasu from Steins Gate. So, I think a lot of people will be picking this one up. Um, she's just one of the, you know, she's got one of those elegant personalities that, uh, as she does in the anime. Um, she knows one of very goes elegant sort of sex appeal, I think you could say, I guess, with this. Uh, very good looking figure. And not a bad price. Uh, Nendroid Amnesia Kent, 7,200 yen by Orange Rouge, coming out in August 2024. Uh, looks like he only comes with three faceplates, two faceplates, um, and a couple and a few bit of accessories. Uh, Matsuno Noir 2 illustration by Frang, 1 6th. Uh, Manufacturer is Mengjiang Toys, 6,600 yen, coming out in December 2024. Uh, looks fine. I think for the price, pretty good. Uh, Akura Illustration, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, complete figure. Uh, by Union Creative, coming out 26,000, coming at 26,670 yen, uh, coming out in October 2024. Uh, very uh, satin sort of you know muted colors on this one I think that's the whole effect you know they're going for creepy vibes with this one uh, with it being an Alice Adventures of Wonderland version uh, from the anime uh, B style Azure Lane Drake the Golden Hinds Respite Court Scale uh, by Union Creative for 33,000 yen coming out in September 2024 another Pretty nice looking Azure Lane figure, but pretty simple overall, as most B styles are. Uh, Bunny Girl Arine, 1 12th model action figure by Snail Shell, 5,200 yen. So, this one's um, got some other accessories that are uh, part of the entry that you buy separately, so you can get her with a jacket for I think the jacket's 2,200 yen. And there's a motorbike that she can, uh, like transforming motorbike, she can, here we go, like a rabbit motorbike unicycle that she can do. That's another 2,000 odd, 200 yen, I think. So in total, if you want all of the bits, she looks quite good in the jacket, actually. Uh, you're looking at about 10,000 yen anyways uh, to get her. And that's May 2024. Uh, Prisma Wing, The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2, Raftalia Childhood Version uh, by Prime One Studios for 34,550 yen. 
Coming out in Jan 2025. Uh, paint work on this looks phenomenal. Uh, it's a very good looking figure and I think the base definitely adds a lot to it. Uh, definitely a good looking figure and it takes up a reasonable amount of space as well with the base obviously ma making it quite large. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Prime on, Prime on Studio. They've always done pretty good. They sort of do the more, you know, uh, extravagant figures. But definitely much more expensive. Uh, Nendroid Wata, Wata Ten and Angel uh, flew down to me Hinata Hoshino. By Good Smile, 4,950 yen. Coming out in July 2024. Looks like she has three face plates in this one. Uh, Nendroid Toho Project Rimu... Hakuri 2.0, good smile version uh, company for 6,800 yen, coming in July 2024. Comes with three faceplates, uh, umbrella, and look at just a couple of other accessories. Nendroid Bungo Stray Dogs, Rambo Edogawa, uh, but Orange Rouge, 5,700 yen, July 2024. Uh, three faceplates with this Nendroid. Bungo Stray Dogs is obviously quite a uh, well received anime. Uh, Nendroid Apex Legends Valkyrie. Good Smile Company for 6,550 yen. Uh, July 2024. Uh, three faceplates of this one. An Apex Legends. Uh, Yu Gi Oh! Card Game Monster Figure Collection Sky Striker Ace Rose. 1 7th by Koda Bakia. 18,480 yen. Coming out in August 2024. Like most other Yu Gi Oh ones, looks fine. It's not exactly amazing, but um, there we go. As they slowly build out. Uh, Orimo 2 Hirino Hosaka Bunny version, one quarter scale by Freeing for 34,840 yen. It's another freaking figure, pretty standard. I enjoy the quarter scales, but I think you sort of have to be one of those people that just likes large figures to really enjoy collecting them and, uh, you know, pocket, you know. Just suffer the price <laughs> for him. Uh, Yokoso Jitsuro Shijo Shugo no Kiyoshitsu e Honami Ichinose Competition Swimsuit Version by Hobby Stack for 24,280 yen. Released in July 2024 by Hobby Stock. Uh, swimsuit figure looks fine. Artifacts J My Hero Academia Mai Hatsune 1 8th by uh, Artifacts J by uh, Takaro Tomo 16,630 yen July 2024. Yep, she looks fine. The Artifacts J ones are sort of your mid tier scale prices as well that, that we get these days. Bigger Arts Zero Straw Hat Luffy re release. Oh, yeah, re release edition, one apiece. By Bandai Spirits, 3,440 yen. April 2024. So I'll get up this one if you can. Uh, figure out zero cotton candy loving chopper re release. Uh, this one's unfortunately uh, run out. Uh, this is for 2,690 yen. Um, but pre orders are currently closed. Again, April 2024. But if you keep an eye on this one, you might be able to get hold of it when uh, on the day of release uh, on AmiAmi. I'll look at my figure collection and uh, put alerts on for any changes in uh, the comment and in the comments as well. Uh, that more might alert you'll get an email alert. I might help you get a hold of it. SH Figure Arts Nezuko Komodo Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yoba. Uh, SH Figure Arts by Bandai Spirits for 6,600 yen. August 2024. Uh, pretty. Oh, it's opposable. Uh, not too bad. SH Figure Arts Tanjo Komodo Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yoba. Uh, Bandai Spirits for 3,520 yen. I don't know why he's so much cheaper, but I'm guessing it's because a lot of people obviously prefer his sister than him. Um, so that's July 2024. Uh, SH Figure Arts y Eustas Kid. Raid on Onigashima One Piece by Bandai Spirits for 9,700 yen. Current June 2024. Uh, Figure Arts Mini Rani the Witch Elden Ring by Bandai Spirits for 3,440 yen. Coming out in June 2024. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking figure actually. I think she does look a lot like her 
character in Elden Ring. SH Figure Arts Kazuya Mishima Tekken 8, 7480 yen, coming out in July 2024. So uh, very well detailed as well. I do like this one. I think that's why a lot of people like it. And obviously, with Tekken 8 be only been released what a few months ago, if that. Um, def uh, there's definitely a lot of people that want this. So pre orders are closed, unfortunately, for this. So again, you'll have to wait till July and uh, try and snag one if you can. Then we've got SH Figure Arts Jin Kazama Tekken 8, 7480 yen. Um, June 2024 uh, again pre-orders are closed so you'd have to wait on this one to see if you can get a hold of him on in June uh, really on the day of his release so again use my figure collection for that to figure out what's the exact day he's on, being released on SH Figure Arts The Flash uh, 8,400 yen uh, in June 2024 uh, it's the movie Flash version and so I think a lot of people prefer the uh, Actual uh, cartoon version, really. Comic green. Uh, Nendroid, my new boss is Goofy Yusei Shirasaki uh, by Orange Rouge, 5,120 yen. Uh, looks like he has three face plates or two. I can't really tell with the angle on that bottom right one if that's the same face plate as the primary. So I think two face plates. Uh, main base, yeah, doesn't really say, unfortunately, with this one. And then enjoyed mini minions Bob uh, for 6,800 yen. Uh, three three face plates or head plates, I think you would say with this one. Uh, or no, it looks like it's face plates. Uh, a couple of arms and a king uh, crown and a robe. We're in June 2024. Uh, Connor Fig, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Mitsuri Kanrojo by Aniplex for 7,500 yen, coming out in July 2024. Uh, hovering in the air, so the, the rods might put uh, put you off really getting hold of this figure. That might be the only problem. It's having those uh, rods that elevate her. Conifer uh, Demon Slayer, Mitsuri no Yaiba Muichiro uh, Tokito for 7,500 yen, uh, July 2024. Uh, Pretty simple figure. And we got Revoltech, Amazing Yamaguchi, Toro Kagutsu no Railgun Mikoto Misaka, Winter Uniform Version by uh, Kyodo for 11,000 yen. So this is an opposable action figure, uh, kind of like a, uh, a, a Figma, I suppose. Yeah, very close to a Figma, I'd say. Um, it's just not a Figma, not by the main manufacturer that make the Figmas. Uh, Artifacts J, Persona 3 Reload, uh, P3R Protagonist, 1 8th, by Kota Pekia, 16,360 yen, coming out in July 2024. Uh, not bad, pretty good. Good detailing now on the uh, on the armband. Punkai Star Rail, Fu Juan, 1 7th, uh, complete figure by Apex, 24,220 yen, or in December 2024. This one is very nice. I like the hair shading on this one. I think the lighting is adding a lot to it with it being very dark. And they're letting the pinks and whites, you know, being very vibrant and uh, doing a lot of the work on this one. So this one's pretty expensive, 24,000 yen. But I think Apex have done a really good job with their uh, re recent releases from what I've seen of other um, anime YouTubers, uh, figure YouTubers. Uh, Fake Grand Order, Assassin slash Okita, J Soji. Uh, first Ascension by QsQ for 24,120 yen coming in December 2022, 2024. Uh, looks fine, it's another fake figure, fake grand order. Uh, Katie Carl Overlord Albedo Restraint version on 7th by Katakawa, 22,260 yen um, early July 2024, so that might be a bit presumptuous. Uh, but this one's, I think, quite nice. I like the hair, purple. Sh Going to clear purple shading streaks at the end. Uh, the wings look really well done as well. Um, and I think her swimsuit looks pretty good. But the overall figure is not too bad. Uh, Kelly Carl, Bongo, Stray Dogs, uh, Chuya Nakahawa, original series, age 15th version by Kelly Carl, 22,000 yen. Uh, very nice looking Bongo Stray Dogs one. I do like this figure a lot. Coming out in Mar uh, December 2024. And then we've also got uh, Daiza as well for 22,000 yen. 
Uh, again, December 2024. Dyser looks really good as well in this one. Uh, they, they've done really good uh, shading on the uh, suit, black suit on this one for Dyser. Uh, Killer Card, Data Live, Kurumi Taka Tokasaki, Empress version for by Killer Card for 31,900 yen coming out in October 2024. Uh, it's another Kurumi, uh, Kurumi figure, so I think a lot of people will be wanting to get this if they're big Kurumi fan, fans. Uh, the lighting in this one that, that seems to add a lot. And there's also a uh, cheaper version if you don't want the extras uh, that you normally get, you know, like acrylic stands and stuff. For 26,130 yen. Uh, Kelly Cole, uh, Toradora, Tiger, Isaka White Kimono version by Kelly for 32,450 yen. Um, with Tiger being such a small figure, um, I, she shouldn't be this expensive. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that there's enough to warrant this really um, with the yeah even though it's tiger and a lot of people like it and not uh, yeah I don't think it's what she's worth 33,000 yen um, by Kadaka I think it'll be close to 25 20 to 27,000 yen so maybe wait for this one August 2024 release um, and then there's like there is a slightly cheaper one sorry I uh, didn't realize uh, which I think does not come with the headpiece nope you do what is the difference with these so mains figure and then the sort of deluxe version. Uh, so you get size capture tiger and a BT wall skull. What's the size capture wall skull? I have no idea what that means. Oh, it might be the tiny like pet tiger. Yeah, not worth an extra 6,000 yen for that really. Uh, then we've got Azure Lane St. Louis Luxurious Wheel Steel Illustration Version by Ele uh, Elegant, 19,000 yen, um, November 2024 release. Uh, this looks really good. I really do like, um, I think as soon as we saw St. Louis um, you know, annou uh, announced, I think this is the second figure of her now, I think I covered one last week, then um, you know, with that dress and her sex appeal going on in here, it's just off the charts. It's uh, really worth getting hold of this one i think alter doing one or that might be the one i looked at last week um yeah no and there's a couple of resin figures that have already been you know came out the past couple of years for this one uh so definitely worth uh, getting hold of if you want a actual scale figure very good looking figure and then they've got uh one for uh, 400 yen more which comes with a critic cheek keychain uh yeah, I wouldn't bother with a critic keychain really. Uh, Azure Lane Rodney Immaculate Beauty version by Alpha Max for 25,600 yen. Coming out in September 2024. Oh, yeah, sorry, St. Louis is coming out in November 2024. Uh, yep, yeah, another good looking figure. It just seems like whenever an Azure Lane figure you know, gets put into a scale form, um, they really do replicate the artwork very closely and yeah, they. All the companies, all the manufacturers I've done them have done an amazing job. I don't think there's really been any like terrible ones, to be honest. So uh, definitely worth um, picking them up if you're big into Azure Lane. Uh, and then we got uh, Yosaga no Sora Sora, Kasugawa China dress version, uh, style for by Ulta for twenty thousand eight hundred and eighty yen. So this one's going to be immaculate, anyways. Paint job looks good, and I think the sculpt's just going to be amazing. Hair might be a bit of a off-putting with this one, you know, sort of the grey whites and the being sort of semi-transparent might be a bit off. Uh, January 2025, uh, Bunny Girls White one sixth by Fan Cam uh, in October 2024, and there is a black version as well. So uh, the white one has pink hair, um, just has a dye, dye, I suppose, and you got carrots. At the bottom of the garters, at the top of the tights. This one, and obviously the very saggy, try, very barely trying to hold up the chest area on this one. Exactly the same for the black one. The black one's just a black uh, bunny suit version with grey hair or white hair uh, instead. Um, and it looks like uh, they're pretty good. You know, 6,600 yen is pretty, you know, pretty cheap. So, um, yeah, they're not bad bunny figures, I would say. But I think it, depending on how who you are, you know, I think you have to really fall in love with the whole bunny theme, which if you're collecting quarter scales of the freeing ones, and you probably are, so then these might be worth picking up. Uh, Punishing Grey Raven Nanami Pulse Metal, one ninth, 
uh, seamless action figure for by Animeetster, uh, 15,400 yen since the manufacturer have done those other really cheap uh, one sit scale figures that a lot of people have been buying and they've been you know the pre-orders been going out uh, not bad looking figure overall so uh, October 2024 obviously more expensive because of there being moving parts but with there being sort of mechanical uh, parts uh, well the le ligaments basically of the arms and legs are remo replaced with mechanical parts uh, that covers the joints a lot more uh, Atelier Sophie 2 the alchemist of the mysterious dream uh, Plachata uh, 1 7th by Design Coco 39,930 yen Released in March 2025. Uh, it probably is a bit expensive, but I think all the Atelier uh, ones have been like really well designed and they look just amazing. And if you have played the Atelier games, then um, obviously you would want to get the characters that are main um, in those uh, ones. I really do need to play the Atelier series. They seem like very good JRPGs to play through. Sword Art Online Asuna Wedding Version, 1 7th. A design Coco for 29,480 yen. Again, another very expensive. I don't know why. Uh, it's just a, it's very Asuna and a very simple wedding dress. Nothing uh, outstanding. Nowhere near worth 30,000 yen. Uh, coming out March 2025. Uh, probably after, once she's released, I'll say probably it'll drop down to about 22,000 yen. Uh, I reckon, uh, depending on Design Coco, I don't know what their track record is of uh, doing sales after release. Um, and finally, Kedakawa. Johanny the Parahelion Sunshine in the Mirror, Johan uh, by Kadokawa for 19,360 yen. See, this is what Kadokawa can do. If you look at the hair and the design on this one, the shading they've got going in the hair, this one's way better than Asuna, you know, for 10,000 yen less. And they're both 1 7th. Yeah, they're both 1 7th. Event this week, then, um, yeah, uh, we could just see the breadth of that they've got up. Got, got going on a uh, very well priced kind of have generally always been really well priced so um that does it for this week uh of ami ami figures sorry this is a quite a long video and i'll be blitzing through it um thank you very much for getting to the end uh play again please comment like subscribe and uh just uh leave any comments if there's anything else i can improve i uh, messed around with the lighting a bit today um tr uh, see if that makes any improvement in terms of light at least in the sensor here um, uh, that does it. Um, that's, I'm out, and I shall see you in next week's video. Um, next week's video, there is um, so there is an event, a uh, one hobby, I think, uh, uh, starting on the 11th of February. So I will be covering that. So there'll be extra videos of that. Um, they'll be using Ru Ber uh, Berry um, Berry's uh, website for that. So I shall catch you in next week's video. Thanks. Bye.